these insects were turned into zombies by fungi. Behind the scenes at Kew Gardens in London, the underground Fungarium collection houses over a million specimens which have come from all over the world. Amongst the shells of the climate-controlled collection, a handful of disturbing bugs stand out. These unfortunate creatures have all been victims of varieties of zombie fungi. Several cicadas are new additions to the collection at Kew. Having spent the past 17 years developing underground, these insects emerged in 2021 to a world dominated by a human pandemic. Little did they know that a different airborne killer would soon be coming for them. Microscopic fungal spores carry in the air. Most fungal spores are harmless to creatures and will settle on the ground to grow and produce the mushrooms we're most familiar with. But some parasitic fungi, like types of Massospora and Cordyceps, have a different, more sinister purpose. Once they land on insects like these cicadas, the spores will infiltrate the cicadas' bodies and spread inside. The cicadas are soon completely overrun, with no known way to fight back. The fungus then starts to flood the cicadas' brains with hallucinogens and amphetamines. It's thought this makes them both more hungry and more active to find a mate. But there's also a darker use for this drugging. As the fungus continues to grow inside the core of the insect, it causes the rear end of the cicada's abdomen to fall off, exposing the fungus to the air in order to release its spores and spread further afield. It's thought the drugs released by the fungus into the cicada's brain make it more energetic in finding a mate, thus maximizing spore dispersal for the parasitic Massospora. With over 400 species of cordyceps-type fungi spread across the world, other creatures such as wasps, moths and caterpillars have also fallen prey to these parasites. Ants are another notable victim of these killer fungi. Once infiltrated by fungus, the ant will move away from its colony to a location, like high in a tree, which suits the controlling cordyceps. The parasitic fungus will make the ant anchor itself by biting into the tree trunk in a kind of death grip. The fungus will then burst out of its host and grow into a mushroom-like structure, ready to spread its spores and start the deadly cycle all over again. Thank you.